So, uh, you know, have to come out to Mackenzie, BC for work today. And, uh, you know, they put us in this hotel because the place is pretty cramped up. There's a lot of oil field work going on. So, town's pretty busy. But I had to show you guys this hotel. It's, 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 it's something else. Little story first, okay? So, pull into the, to the office there and, uh, you know, check in and whatnot. And they, uh, get me to sign my name and, you know, check my ID and everything like that, you know, normal process. And then I step back and my coworker goes and he does the same thing and they give him his key and I go, Oh, wait a minute. Where's my, can I have my room key? And then she looks at me, who is this 11 year old girl, by the way, I, I don't know if she's actually 11, but she looks really young. She's like the daughter of, I don't know, the people that are caretaking this place or something like that. And she's like, so the thing is, is, uh, we actually don't have the key to your room. And I'm like, okay, so you gave me a, you just checked me into a room that I can't get into. And uh, they're like, no, uh, it's open right now, so you can get in there. I'm like, okay, so you just gave me, you checked me into a room that I can't secure, so I can't, you know, keep my stuff in there or anything. And she's like, no, 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 we'll, uh, and then the mom pipe said, we'll, we'll make you a key. I'm like, oh, okay, so you're going to go run down and go get a key cut for me that's cool so what happened to the key the last one you know um is that guy gonna come back in the middle of the night you know drunk off his ass or something could try to stumble in and get a free sleep it's fucking weird but okay a bit of a bigger boy i handle it so i get into my room after they go and get me a key <sighs> And the more I look at this place, the funnier it gets. So, <laughs> first of all, okay, nice aesthetic, you know, it's cool blinds, at least they keep the sunlight out decently well. There's um, lamps right above the bed. It's kind of neat, you know. Um, light switch right beside the door. Um don't turn on the lights. Okay, that's that's cool. That's fine. Um, okay, so beds, you know, ugly ass blankets, but it's a motel, and really, paid for it for the company. Can't complain too much. I do got a phone on the side table, and an alarm clock. So uh, the alarm clock's not on. That's a little weird. So look down. It's not even plugged in. There is, is, in fact, no plug-in for this alarm clock. So, okay, that's that's cool, I guess. You know, um, still wondering what that light switch does. So then, come over this way, and, you know, beating up freaking desk and whatnot. There's another lamp, which is cool. Come in here. My fan almost sounds like a garbage disposal. And, uh, oh, okay, there's a bathroom. This bathroom is something else. Yeah. You got the nice olive green sink, toilet, tub combo. You know, beautiful little shower rack. Just awesome. I don't know, freaking taps straight out of the 80s, early 90s, something like that. I had to fix my own toilet because it was nonstop running. And it wasn't just trickling, it was like stream constantly going, which is just fantastic. Now, look, right here, it looks like they had put in maybe a towel bar or something on top of a piece of trim and who knows somebody probably grabbed that drunk off their ass and busted it that's nice so i don't know. learn and adapt right so let's just put a fucking shower rod behind the fucking door you know strap her in there good you know it's fucking connected underneath the sink oh my or above the sink that's just amazing okay so yeah that's my bathroom okay okay um turn off this light Put on this one, okay, different color contrast, cool. I got myself a nice little side table in the closet, you know, where they got fan and a space heater, because I guess, I'm guessing the baseboard heaters don't work, because, well, let's be honest, they look a little beat up, but maybe you guys can't see, see that. And my AC is not even plugged in, which is pretty fantastic. Sorry if my cam camera angles kind of suck, but, so gets even better okay better and better and better okay so okay side table in the closet it's a little beat up whatever fucking 
not my thing. Okay, so we got microwave ice box. We're gonna get to that in a second, right there, ice box. Coffee, mini fridge, bunch of shit connected together, power bar. It'll do, it's a motel. At least it's all working, whatever. So, my coworker actually asked about the fucking ice machine. And uh, we asked this really nice Filipino lady, not the daughter, the mother, said, oh, you guys got an ice machine? And they, she says, we unplug the ice machine during the winter. Okay, it's August right now, so that's a little odd. Um, okay, but then he goes, so it's the middle of summer, he says, and he goes, well, uh, it's, it's not working right now. Okay, maybe something got lost in translation. We'll let it slide. But that's just why keep the ice box here. How long has the ice machine been down? You know? So. Okay, cool. Okay. So I sit down. I, I eat some salad. You know? Some, my woman got me some awesome, made me, made me an awesome salad for, for lunch to come down with. And I see there's this lamp. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know? That's nice. Try to turn it on. And, well... Does it turn on? Why do you ask? Well, it's because there's no fucking plug. It's not fucking plugged in. And can you guess why it's not plugged in? Well, it's because there's no fucking plug-in to plug it into. <laughs> like, I don't even understand why I have a fucking lamp there in the first place. It's like the fucking alarm clock. Like, who does that? This is just mental, okay? So, now, you know, TV. I got a dresser in this one. The last place I stayed in, they just had these little cubby things, which is a little weird, but whatever. So, back to this fucking light switch, you know, right here. I don't know what that does. Well, actually, I do know what it does. It's not for the lights. What it's actually for is it turns on the TV, so we can watch our fantastic programming as soon as we get into the room. <laughs> and then as I was explaining this to my friend, I was like, oh yeah, we got this chair. And I was like, wait a minute. What is that? I don't know about you guys, but I'm in Canada and we just got regular, you know, uh, we got regular outlets like this. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, those are regular outlets we use here. But for some reason, this fucking desk has some European plugs. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I've never been to a place, I've never even seen European plugs before. But for some reason, this place, it's got your back if you've got some, some stuff that needs conversion or something. But alright, fucking... Back of the chair, freaking pretty damn loose. But yeah, this is uh, Willisting Lake Lodge. It's a gorgeous place. Check this out. It kind of looks like it's um, uh, watercolor. The more I looked at it, it looks like it's more like watercolor and like maybe some like pen art or something. I don't know. It's the coolest fucking thing about this fucking room. Other than the fact that there's, you know, European plugs. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just makes me so happy. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there's my uh, review of a Willisting Lake Lodge motel. Beautiful place. You know, Europeans, come on down. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.